Hello and welcome to Tim's BMW Repairs and Information. It's a cold day today and if when you start up your engine you start getting misfires then the usual cause is inlet manifold leaks around the gaskets, around the blanking plugs and instead of squirting things at the inlet manifold we do it the proper way. We use IMPA diagnostics to find that inlet manifold leak and to make sure we do find one I'm going to add one. And the easiest way to do that is on the PCB valve by removing one of the blanking plugs. And there's one there with a yellow band around it. That's a vacuum takeoff point not used on the E31. And neither is the one to the right of it, which is used for the brake booster on the E38. So we're going to add this air leak. And there's one of the rubber bungs. They have to be placed every 10 years or so because they go molten, drop off. So let's start up the engine, leave it running for three minutes. It's on my E31, the V8 engine, the M62, but this routine works on any BMW engine which you can put in per diagnostics on. Check the error memory first just to make sure there's no problems and there isn't and you won't get an error from a vacuum leak of that size, it's too small. So the first thing we do is we clear adaptation, so F7, that gives us a good starting point. And we're going to use the analog values too to find this manifold leak. And we use three values to do that. The Lambda sensor voltage is from the oxygen sensor in the exhaust pipe. And that's stuck on the left hand side at the moment. It's not swinging, it means the mixture's too lean. The Lambda integrator takes that voltage, low pass filters it, and integrates it to a value of zero. And a positive value means the mixture's too lean and a negative value means it's too rich and at a value of 20 it's much too lean. So how does the engine compensate for this vacuum leak? And it will do. Um, the way that it does is it slowly increases the injector dwell every few seconds and it adds a value to the adaptation additive and you can see that happening here. The value slowly increasing which means that the ECU is slowly increasing the injector dwell until it gets the fuel-air mixture correct. And as it does that, we notice that the Lambda integrator value is slowly decreasing. And here is a pictorial representation. The mass is only reading half the air that's coming in, the rest of it's leaking in. And so it's only injecting half the fuel and the integrator is saying that mixture is miles too lean. Please add a bit more fuel at next revolution, which, which is what it's doing. So there's the adaptation value slowly increasing and the integrator value slowly decreasing. Now if you had a large vacuum leak then the additive value will keep on increasing until it reaches the end of the scale and then you'll get an error code and you get misfires and you get the uh, warning lamp on the instrument cluster. Apart from in the UK we don't have one. And if you read the error page in IMPA you would find uh, adaptation has reached limits. In this case the leak is quite small and at a value of about 20. There we go, mass still only reading half the air but the ECU has added the adaptation value and now the air fuel mixture is correct and so the integrator says that's spot on. And so our engine is running perfectly, no misfires. And that's what we expect with a tiny vacuum leak. Any bigger, value will increase more, and if it increases too far, the engine can't compensate for the vacuum leak, you'll get an error code and you'll get misfires. So there's the evidence of a manifold leak, value of 20 or more, 5, 10 or 15, don't worry about it, 20 or more, it's time to do something, inlet manifold, simple fix on my website, it sorts out most of them, check your rubber bungs, that's on my website as well. Um, but in this situation, both banks reached 20, quite happy, sorted it out, no problem at all. Right, that's the footprint and how you find an inlet manifold leak. I'll replace that bung, stick the engine covers on. I'll reset the ad adaptations again, so it's not running too rich the next time I start the car. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.